Captain Zero. Research explorer in time and space. Uncharted region of the planet called Earth stands the laboratory of Captain Zero. In this secret location, known only to a few in the outside world, Captain Zero and his associates experiment in time and space to learn from the past, to plan for the future. on the moon, huh? That's right. And from there, we'll be able to blast off for Mars. Probably. And then we'll be able to go to Jupiter and Saturn and Neptune and Venus and even Pluto and maybe even blast clear out of our solar system. You're blasting a little ahead of yourself, aren't you? And maybe we'll even find planets just like Earth with people on them just like us. Slow down, Jet. But it's true, isn't it? There could be other planets just like Earth, couldn't there? Yes. And if there are, they could have people on them just like us, couldn't they? Yeah. Then what are we waiting for, Captain? Let's get going. Now, wait a minute, Jet. We first have to build a space platform, remember? Oh, yeah. That's right. Prime it. Yes? All set, Captain. We're ready for blast off. Good. Switch on warming motors and stand by. I'll be right there. Right. Tetro. Yes, sir? Micro and I are taking the ZX-99 up for a trial run. You'll be in charge until I get back. Yes, sir. Oh, Captain? Yes? I don't know if it means anything, but you'd better check the radar scope before you blast off. Why? Seems to be some sort of cosmic disturbance about 500,000 miles out in the direction of Mars. Wait a minute. No unusual activity out there now. Well, uh, I could have been wrong. Just thought I'd mention it. See you later, Captain. Right. Okay, Jet. You take care of things here in the lab, and I'll see you when I get back. You mean, you mean I can't go? Not this time, Jet. We're going pretty far out. There's no telling what we may run into. But, Captain, I... Yes. There'll be plenty of other space flights after we check out the ship. But this is a final shakedown cruise. And, well, something might just shake down. Look, Jet, if anything should go wrong out there, or if we should run into something unexpected, there's, well, there's no telling what might happen. I just don't want anything to happen to you, that's all. Yes? Come on, Captain, let's go. Okay, Micro, I'll be right there. Now look, Jet. You don't seem to realize the dangers of travel in outer space. Our rocket ships are still far from perfect, and any number of things could go wrong. Besides, as yet, we don't know exactly what we may run into out there. Buck up. I'll see you when I get back. Yes, sir. Good.
Okay, Jeff. If you insist on being a space explorer, I guess you might as well start now. Gee, thanks, Captain. Just hope it's going to be as much fun as you think. Strap in. Yes, sir. This isn't going to be any pleasure cruise, you know, Jeff. I know. Boy, maybe we'll run into a space fighter or, or, or somebody from another planet. Uh, or, or a stray asteroid. Attention. Clear the rocket platform. Blast off in 60 seconds. Attention. Clear the rocket platform. Blast off in 60 seconds. How's the oxygen supply? Well, we got it up for two or three hours. It's about twice as much as we need, isn't it? Well, after all, we're not planning on going clear out to Pluto. Are you, you checked know. out forward? All set, sir. Ground crew to zero. All clear, Captain. Good luck. Over and out. Okay. See you when we get back. Zero, out. Airlock's closed. Check. Cabin pressure stabilized. Check. Trajectory set. All set, sir. Transmitter operation. Checked. Power levels. At peak, sir. Set gyro and position control chamber for blast off. All set, sir. Secure, Micro. You can relax. Yeah. Wish you could tell that to my stomach. What's the matter? Can't you take it? Oh, I can take it all right. I'm just not sure about that last cup of coffee. How far from Earth are we, Captain? About a thousand miles. Activate the video plate. Yes, sir. Long way from home already. Yeah, get farther away every second. Coffee, anyone? No thanks. No thanks, Michael. Well, happy landings, wherever they may be. Better switch on the gravity generator, Micro. We're leaving the Earth's gravitational field pretty fast. I don't know, Captain. We still have a few minutes. Besides, I sort of enjoy this floating sensation. Better switch it on, Micro, before everything in here starts floating. Including us. Remember our first space flight? <laughs> we were halfway to the ceiling before we knew it. Yeah, I spent more time on the ceiling than I did on the floor. Micro, switch it on! Boy, I'm glad I had my belt fastened. Next time, don't be so slow about obeying orders. Like you said, Micro, happy landing. How are we doing, Micro? All secure, sir. Ship's operating perfectly. Good.
Say, Captain, what do you say we start heading back? We're getting pretty far out, you know. That Earth looks like a tennis ball. Okay, Micro. We'll put the ship through our paces first, and then we'll... Radar school. What do you make of it, Captain? I don't know. It's moving fast. Boy, maybe it's a spaceship from another planet. No, it's a meteor. A big one. And it's three into an orbit that'll meet ours in exactly 15 seconds. Strap in and stand by to swing the ship. Read up, Captain. That thing's moving like lightning. Step, Jeff. Ready, sir. Stand by. Jet to zero. Jet to zero. Come in, Captain. Over. Okay, Jet. Leave the transmitter open, and I'll see you when I get back. Zero. Over and out. Yes, sir. Jet, out. Golly. If another meteor is headed this way, he won't have a chance on the outside of the ship, even if it only comes close. Combustion chamber number two are pretty badly damaged, but we should make it back to Earth all right. Where's the captain? Outside. No? Outside? Yeah. Well, just stepped out to take a walk in space, I suppose. No. He's out repairing the port stabilizer. What? Well, you better keep contact with him, Jet. Anything happened to him out there, you'd never even know it. Well, what could happen to him? There's no gravity out there. He but, couldn't fall off. Well, no, but if he used too much force and a wrench or something, he could throw himself right off the ship and be lost in space in three seconds. Yeah, that's right. Jet to zero. Jet to zero. Come in, Captain. Over. Jet to zero. Jet to zero. Come in, Captain. Over. Zero, Jet. What's up, Jet? Over. Nothing special, Captain. I just want to make sure you were still there. Over. I don't plan on leaving, Jet. Keep your eye on the radar scope and stand by. Zero. Over and out. Yes, sir. Jet, out. Golly, it's sure quiet out here. I 
wish Zero would get back here. I don't care much for being suspended in space. Oh, you're not exactly suspended, Jet. What do you mean? Well, we're traveling in free orbit at a velocity of about five miles per second. Five miles per second? That's right. Sure doesn't feel like it. Well, that's because there's no acceleration. You can't feel velocity. You mean we're circling the Earth right now at a speed of five miles per second? With no rocket power? That's right. We're in a free gravitational orbit of our own. I don't believe it. Well, let's activate the video plate towards Earth. Look, we're passing over the Atlantic Ocean right now. And there's the North American continent. Criminy. Next, we'll be over the Pacific Ocean, and then comes China. It's like being on a space platform. You can just sit here and watch the rest of the world go by. Uh, something like that, yeah. the Indian Ocean. The next continent should be a radar scope. What is it, Marco? Can't make it out, but it looks like another meteor, and it's heading right for us. Contact Captain. Jet to zero. Jet to zero. Come in, Captain. Over. Zero jet. Come in, jet. Over. Captain, there's something coming in from outer space. Another meteor. Over. 10,000 miles at 30 miles per second. We got just five minutes to get out of this orbit. Over. Prepare the ship for immediate blast off and stand by. Zero, over and out. Right, micro out. What do we do if he doesn't get that stabilizer repair? Not much we can do, Jet. All depends on zero. Time after you, Michael. Exactly three minutes. If zero doesn't make it by then, I don't know. Captain, we have less than three minutes. Over. Stabilizing being repaired. Stand by to blast off. I'm coming in. Hurry, Captain. Hurry. But he's only got two minutes and 45 seconds to get back inside the ship.
coming, Captain. Keep coming. You've still got 90 seconds. Micro, listen to me. You may not care about yourself, but you've got to save Jet. No. Micro, are you reading me? Over. Yes. Then blast out of this orbit at once. Captain, I... At once, Micro. That's an order. Yes, sir. circling in free orbit. Yeah. For the last time around. Look, we're passing over South America. Yeah. And there's North America, too. That's right. Micro, how much longer? Take it easy. How much longer, Micro? 20 seconds. Oh, no. Take it easy, kid. You won't feel a thing. No. Well, I guess this is it. Yeah. A lot of things I'd like to say, Jet, but there isn't any time to say them. Yeah, I know. I feel the same way. I just wish we could have... Come on, Jet. Refocus the video plate. At least we're going to go out in a blaze of glory. And you're going to see the biggest, brightest collision you've ever seen. Yeah. Ringside seats to our own destruction. Look at that. Here she comes. and space. 